So, another young female recruit dies. Eight weeks, I think it's like eight weeks apart from the other girl dying. Um, I think this girl's name is Kelsey. Kelsey Nobles, I think. Why is my phone ringing? Scam likely. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so Kelsey Noble dies. And they both, her and the other last girl died from the same uh, situation, the, P, the PRT. I think a boot kind of called it PFA. But, um, same thing. Like I was saying before, like, yeah, I get it. Um, thousands of recruits go through there every year. To Maybe I'm getting whiff of this now because I'm in the military, so, and I watch a lot of military videos, so my algorithm shows military stuff. So maybe there have been other people dying, but to my knowledge, no. Or maybe it's widely... Like, the gap is very wide as far as injuries or death uh, pertaining to uh, people dying at boot camp. Which is, that's why I think it got something to do with the environment in there. The environment that they have you in. Because I don't hear about this, if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But I, I, I don't hear about this with Air Force or, or Army boot camp. Yeah, uh, you know, if you're trying to go spec, spec, I mean, uh, spec or special, yeah, special forces or whatever, yeah, certain things like that can happen. Uh, but even then, I don't hear. Or maybe just don't get to the news like that. So, in my opinion, I think it has a lot to do with where they actually have you doing your, your fitness tests. Like I said, at Freedom Hall, uh, it's indoors. Uh, yes, it's three floors, but y'all don't open the windows in there. <laughs> and the only time the door is open is when someone is walking through. And so, I think by being so many people in there, it's, it's a few hundred people in there at a time on one floor, and they're all running. They're all PTing. They're all sucking up the oxygen. They're all pushing out carbon dioxide. Um, and um, the windows are closed. There's no ventilation, at least. Some, I don't think there's no ventilation, at least not enough. Because um, I remember when I, I ended up on FEP. And uh, I was on FEP for like four days. And I remember when my test came back around that Monday. Man, I ran so hard because I did not want to. I wanted to get up out of FEP and... Um, you know, I mean, now I didn't know them, but I, I technically I was already getting asthma with the fact that I was in, in FEP. But um, you know, I didn't want to be in there any longer and take any longer to graduate. So I mean, I ran so hard to the point like my chest was on something else. Like I don't, all I know is it was burning, and I didn't know what to do. I was about to start freaking out. And that's because I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to get left back even longer, you know. And they push you. So that's just felt like as the weeks go on and on, yes, your conditioning is getting a lot better. You're dropping more weight. Uh, you're being able to do more and more. But when they come around to that last PFA, like they're pushing you so... I don't think... They're, 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 they're not trying to hurt you. I, I, I will say that. They do, they're pushing you so you can pass. They don't want you to fail. But um, I think it should be more lines of pushing to where it's like, hey, you need to run faster, but I don't want you to kill yourself. You need to beat this time. But if you're someone who, let's say you need to make, for the girls, let's say the girls need to make 16 minutes, and you have a 
some of the recruits in there, they probably could do the 16 minutes. Like, that's what they're good at doing. Like, or if they're averaging around 1605, 1610, or 1555, 1550, if they're up in that ballpark range, if they're not running that, by week five or six <laughs> before like they take the PFA. Um, well, let's let's say they're still running that ball part range. Yes, you're gonna want to push them, but don't push them to be like, you need to co- complete this in 14 minutes. Because yeah, they may push themselves to do that, but their body is like in over overdrive at that point, you know. And what you think is gonna happen? Yeah, they'll complete it, but it should be more like. I think when they're running that, because, you know, there's a screen. And as you're running around, because you do have, like, an ankle monitor on, showing you every time you pass, every time you do a lap, it counts, which you're going to do 12 laps. So um, I think with some of the recruits that they know are kind of struggle with the run or whatever, but are getting better, they need to watch them more. And as they're getting around, like, hey, you're making good time. Keep it up. Keep this pace up. Or if they're or if they're lagging, you know, say, hey, pick it up a little faster. Oh, oh yeah, okay, you got a little faster on this one. You know, this last last one you need to sprint or oh, what? Something give them something to where they don't kill themselves, but they're still passing. And I get it, it's the military. Um, there's way harder things uh, you may encounter. You may. I mean, hell, we sign up to go to war. That's what we do, you know. <laughs> but um, so I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Like, I know what the Army, but I don't know exactly to the T. You know, I've seen videos, but they're changing their basic training to uh, the needs of this particular person's uh, MOS or rate, as the Navy would say it. You know, they don't need me to run. You know, I guess they don't need you to run with spec ops if you're just going to be behind a desk. Yes, you need to be in fit condition. I'll give you that. I'll give them that. You need to be fit, but I don't need to be running 12 miles a day because I'm not a sniper. I'm not in spec op. I'm not a ranger. You know what I'm saying? So they're changed, they're modifying it to where depending on what field you're going into, you need to be certain level of fitness, you know. Um, but even if they don't change it in the Navy, I think at Freedom Hall they should make sure it's like some circulation in it. I really think that's what it is. And yes, thousands of people come through there every year and... Maybe these are the first two deaths in like five years. I don't know. So I guess they, if the majority is making it, I guess they're like, oh, we, we don't need to change. Or it could have been something that uh, maps couldn't figure out, couldn't notice. You know what I'm saying? Some problems don't arise until you start doing things. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, like I remember when I started playing football, uh, organized football, like I didn't have foot pain or nothing like that until the first day of practice and I'm like oh shit like my fucking my feet are killing me you know what I'm saying like and I didn't want to go to practice no more but my mom made me go you know what I'm saying but and my body eventually adjusted so I mean it could be something along those lines to the point where you couldn't even detect it you didn't know you have it had that issue or whatever maybe it was so small no one would notice it and then next thing you know you're thrown into an environment uh where a foreign environment to your body. Uh, you're closed in with a bunch of sick people. Another hundred. Everybody's in there sick. I don't, all those divisions you see graduating every week, they're all sick. Everybody is in there sick. And they're not opening the windows. You know, they're not airing that place out. Um, Maybe they feel like they don't need to on the simple fact that you do a lot of marching, but I mean, you still, you're marching from one indoor place to the next indoor place. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, I hope, I mean, they both died in, what, week six? Uh, I hope they had their life insurance or something. Uh, if they had a kid or a daughter or something, you know, maybe the money can go to their to their dependents or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to be rambling at this point. So, I don't know. Y'all drop a comment. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong about the way I'm thinking or something. I don't know. I'm just another sailor. Peace.